Hey guys, I'm going to show you another technique for solving problems using logarithms that hasn't been addressed in one of the previous videos. And the technique that, um, you know, is kind of generally talked about is um, taking the log. So this is something where you'll hear me say I'm going to take the log of both sides or try taking the log of both sides. So in the previous videos, um, and I'm using the exact same problem as one of the previous videos, just to show you that you will get the same answer this way. Um, in the previous video, you know, the, the teacher was demonstrating how if you have a base of three and a base of seven, you know, this is seven to the first power, that it would make sense to use like a log with a base of three on both sides. Um, but then at the very end, you always had to do this little change of base trick which probably felt a little cumbersome to do after a few times. So I want to demonstrate that you can actually use a log with any base at all. Because the whole point of introducing a log is to basically say, hey, I'm going to treat this input as a number, um, where if I take the log of that number, I'm getting like an exponent back. So I need to use a base that is common on both sides. A lot of times it made sense to use a base of three, but what if... What if we used a base of 10? So I'm just going to say log base 10 of 3x plus 1 is equal to log base 10 of 7. So notice here that the bases on my logs, which are not shown, they're understood to be 10, is the same. So I'm saying this exponent, because logs are exponents, so this whole exponent has a base of 10, this whole exponent has a base of 10, and why couldn't I just do that? So the answer is that you absolutely can. And what's very cool is that in the end, our calculator actually works in base 10. So you're going to see that we do not do a change of base at the end. It kind of skips that part of the problem because our calculator can work in base 10. And I'm using a log with a base of 10. OK, so I'm going to invoke my exponent rules where the x plus 1 comes down in front. x plus 1 times log of 3 is equal to log of seven. Okay, now if you're not convinced of this already, log of three is just a number. I'm gonna plug it into my calculator and show you. So log of three is just the number 0 0.477. And I'm saying that because if I take like an x plus one and multiply by a number, I can just get rid of that number through division. So I'm going to divide both sides by log of 3. Anytime you're multiplying by a number, you can get rid of it by dividing. Notice how I'm dividing by the entire number, log of 3. So that whole number. You can't just divide by 3 or just by log. It has to be that whole input and output thing. So what I'm left with on the left-hand side is x plus 1. And over here, I'm going to have a very um, exact answer of log 7 over log 3. And to finish simplifying and solving for x, I would need to subtract 1 from both sides. So x is equal to log of 7 over log of 3 minus 1. And friends, this is what we call an exact answer. There's absolutely no rounding, and a calculator was not involved. Anybody could plug this number into their calculator, this whole thing, and we would all get the same answer. That's because no rounding has taken place. So this is what we call an exact answer. Let's go ahead and find a rounded answer. So I'm going to um, show you how to do that as well. Let's take log of 3, close parentheses, and divide, or I'm sorry, how about log of 7, because that one's on top. So log of 7, and divide by it log of 3. At this point, I always hit equals. So I basically have done this part, and now I'm going to subtract 1. I say minus 1. And the answer is 0 0.771, which is the same as the answer from the video after doing a change of base. So you might be wondering, well, if any base really works, could we do the same problem again using natural logs? Well, let's try it out. So I'm going to do the same problem twice. x plus 1 equals 7. This time, I'm going to compare it using natural logs. Remember, this has a base of e which is very different than 10. And hopefully by the end, you'll be very convinced that you could use any base and still get the same answer and essentially just skip that whole change of base step at the end, which is so cumbersome. Natural log of seven. 
Natural log of three is just a number. So I can divide by natural log of three or ln of three. You might be you might hear that multiple different ways. Those cancel and I'm left with ln of seven over natural log of three. Again, I'm gonna subtract one to the other side to finish solving. I get that x is equal to ln of seven over ln of three minus one. And now it's time for calculator to like finally convince ourselves that it would work with any base, absolute any base. Let's take natural log of seven, divide by natural log of three. At this point, I'm gonna hit equals. And then, so I've just done this part here. Now I'm gonna subtract one, subtract one. And as we expected, we get the exact same answer of 0 0.771. Okay, so just to recap, in our previous video, the teacher before took a log base three of both sides, and that's elegant and nice because three is already in our problem, so it sort of makes sense while you're just learning this. But the concept applies to any base, absolutely any base. So here we use log 10, here we use a uh, log with a base of e, and it is going to work for both um, types of logarithms. So you can essentially go faster through the problems if you're already using a base of 10 or a base of E because your calculator already does those bases and then you don't have to do a change of base at the end. So this is just another technique that is really gonna help you as you work your way into pre-calculus and calculus as well.